guys, uh, Jonathan here with Imperfect Improvements. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how Kelsey and I removed old ceramic tile floors in our house and kind of did some prep work for new floors to go in. If you are putting on like a really thin vinyl, either plank or a vinyl tile floor, it really has to have a pretty smooth and level surface. Um, you can install over ceramic tile as far as I'm aware, but it's kind of mixed results. And uh, so we just decided that we would remove the old floors. Uh, we were quoted about $2,000 to have someone come in here and remove them. So we decided that we could uh, save a little bit of money, uh, quite a bit of money, and just give up a weekend. And so we did it ourselves. We went to Lowe's to pick up an air compressor, and we went to uh, Harbor Freight and picked up a uh, pneumatic ball joint separator. Um, don't know what that does, but for a car, I mean, it works great for tile. So um, basically it just works as leverage underneath the tile and it helps just chisel it out. And it's actually really fun to use. So if you live in Florida, uh, likely you're gonna have tile just glued to the concrete and that's probably not very fun. I have, this is just, the old tile was glued to like a cement board and then the cement board was screwed into the uh, original subfloor of the house so it was a fairly straightforward you know you got to take off the tile and the, the cement board and then you got the exposed subfloor so that's that was our goal and that's kind of what we ended up with and it was ready for a new subfloor and new floors to be installed over that so i've got some before during and after pictures I'll put at the end of this video if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll put links in the description below. And like and subscribe. Like 